So how is it that you find yourself here today, Glenda? Uh, I read your book, Never Mind. Uh huh. Um, I've been on a, I guess I'd say, a spiritual path since '83 with different, different teachers. Um, very classical, Guru Mai, mm -hmm. for 23 years, uh -huh. and then Ganga Ji, mm -hmm. and uh, recently Adya Shanti. Mm -hmm. um, so the Advaita teachings feel I'm very, you know. So you worked your way through the nice people, and now you're here. <laughs> 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 Glad you called me up front. <laughs> yeah, just kind of at the bottom of everything. <laughs> kind of scraped right by the middle. But you're very welcome <laughs> here at the bottom. <laughs> bare, bare bones. Yes. Bare bones. Yeah. No. No. No more anything. No more highs. Yeah. Oh, that's hide. sad. <laughs> oh, I hope that's not true. Because if you cut out the highs, you do cut out the lows. But then you're left with tofu. <laughs> <laughs> A bland, colorless existence. There's no real inherent properties. You just kind of absorb the properties from those things around. <laughs> And, I mean, human tofu is... <laughs> yeah. So, there is life in Belinda. Yeah, yeah, but recently there's been a lot of anxiety in, 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 in Belinda. The path that I've been on, which is something called, recently, I've been since the last three years, along with Gangaji and Adyashanti, is something called Diksha. Um, from a, a teacher, a master in India, another Bhagawan, one of the many Bhagawans. Um, and, <laughs> yes. and he's been doing direct transmissions of energy. I see. Working on the mind, actually hands on uh, this energy. The intention is to quiet the mind. Uh -huh. Just quiet the mind. Uh -huh. And it also brings up a lot of unresolved issues from the unconscious. So the intention <coughs> is to clear unresolved issues to become a little emptier, uh -huh. a little less engaged in, in the, to declutch the mind, a little, little less engaged in the, in the monkeyness of the mind. Right. I have had, I did have an incredible experience just a week ago where inquiring into something, was it in me or was it some sort of outer phenomenon right. uh -huh. from, and experienced all my borders just disappear and mm -hmm. it's in a place of just well there's no there's just consciousness there's is no me it's I mean really experienced oneness and mm -hmm. that was lovely it wasn't a high it was it just felt like an experience of the absolute uh -huh. and um, and then Shapes came back, and of course I wanted that state back. Of course, yes. of course, sure. Um, and, and it feels as though I'm still trying to attain something, I'm in that place of wanting to attain something. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. know if the anxiety has to do with the, you know, the ego declutching, and there's a, a fear that's taking place. Mm -hmm. and I don't mm -hmm. know what it's about, but it's, right. it's giving me an ulcer. I mean, it's um, really been... Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, it's yeah. been very intense, uh -huh. and um, so how to be with that and just be in a place of acceptance of that is um, challenging because it's extremely uncomfortable. Yes. Yeah. So that's um, when I read your book or I read Krishnamurti. Right. Um, it gives me a feeling of relief. It's like, ah, oh, this, yes, this is this, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a calmness, but it doesn't sustain. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's 
Here I am. Here you are, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you're most welcome. Thank you. Most welcome indeed. Yeah. Let's start with acceptance. This notion of acceptance, when you mentioned you have an ulcer and it's rather difficult to accept mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And I understand that perfectly because the acceptance you're talking about is transient. In other words, you, can, you may find you are able to accept your ulcer mm -hmm. for a period of time. Mm -hmm probably right up until the time it gets really painful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you go, I can't accept this anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, this is horrible. I, mm -hmm. I, I want to need, need and want to do something about this because I don't like it. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's because that kind of acceptance really is tempered with approval. Say, okay, this is okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes it just isn't. Sometimes yeah. life just isn't okay with you. So, mm -hmm. when I talk about acceptance, I talk about acceptance in a much, much broader sense. And I talk about acceptance in terms of the acceptance of what is, mm -hmm. which is total. The acceptance of what is, is total, and includes you, and your state, and what's going on in you at the moment. Sometimes what's going on in you is what we'll call non-acceptance on the relative plane, which is, I'm in pain, I don't accept it. Mm -hmm. I don't like it, I don't want it, and I'm going to do whatever I need. I'll go to the doctor, I'll take this medication, I'll have whatever I need to do to, to deal with it. The acceptance we're talking about is the acceptance that this is what's happening. Mm -hmm. Mm. So it's a it's a bigger it's a it's a the container of acceptance for the ex relative experiences of the moment. So what you're experiencing in terms of liking and disliking, in terms of of being okay with something or not being okay with something, those states are relative. They come and they go. The acceptance we talk about in this teaching is total acceptance. Acceptance that includes all of the phenomena of daily living. So as you broaden your understanding of acceptance, it, in, be, it expands to include you and whatever is going on in you. And you, there's a, a, a growing understanding that whatever is happening through you is, in fact, the functioning of existence or consciousness. And sometimes what happens through you is experiences of unity and oneness. And you go, yes! <laughs> and the the thing about those kinds of experiences is that they feel, they feel so good, and they feel so expansive, and they feel so broad and all-encompassing. You say, that's existence. That's consciousness. When, in fact, the, the, the bigger understanding is that that and your feelings of limitation, of non-acceptance, of unhappiness, of monkey-mindedness, of uh, anxiety, that too is consciousness. 